GPT-5 accidentally got leaked in their API. So unfortunately, by the time I'm recording this video, they did realize this leak and they patched it up. But still, we're going to go through this Reddit thread because a few users luckily got to test it out very quickly. And we'll see just a hint of what it's capable of. The actual release date for GPT-5 appears to be this summer. I've heard talks of August 2025. So it makes sense that this was accidentally leaked in the API. Probably means that this model is close to ready. First, thank you to user Segan. He was able to write a post about this and other people tested it as a result. So thank you very much. Apparently, at the time of writing this post, there was a model GPT-5 bench chat completions dash GPT-41 API EV3. So it sounds totally like an internal model. It was available via the chat completions API and also via the playground. So on platform.openai.com, apparently you could have selected it in the model selector, but now I'm going here and it's not available. This is the user testing it via curl, and this is the user testing it via that playground. So he wrote, what is the next president going to do? And that GPT-5 model responded, I don't have real time or predictive knowledge about future political decisions. What the next president will do depends on who is elected, their campaign platform, the makeup of Congress, current events at the time, and constraints like budgets and laws. If you share which election and candidates you're thinking about, or the policy areas you care most about, like economy, healthcare, immigration, climate, foreign policy, I can summarize their stated plans and likely priorities based on public platforms and recent trends. I don't think there's much to take from that. That still could be an earlier model. It doesn't sound any different to me. But scrolling down, let's see some of the other examples. So this user prompted, generate an SVG of a pelican riding a bicycle. And there's a whole backstory on this, but it did create the SVG. And SVGs are very complicated for large language models. I know this image looks very silly, but SVG is mostly code. So they have a hard time generating this. So if it's truly an SVG image, that is a big step for the model. And this is from Simon Willison, and he invented the idea of using SVGs of pelicans riding bicycles as a benchmark for LLMs. And a blurb in the post says, I'm running this against text output LLMs. They shouldn't be able to draw anything at all, but they can generate code and SVG is code. So it's a difficult test for them. It's because they're drawing via code and it's difficult to remember the exact orientation of the frame. The pelicans and the bicycles are pretty silly, but it's just an example illustrating how tough it is for LLMs. This user, Traditional Duty 905 he tested it with creative writing, but also trying to one-shot a good landing page. Now, before I zoom in on his example, Let's copy his prompt. I'm going to go over to my chat GPT. I'm going to use the best model I have, O3. Let's paste it in and let's see what it comes up with. All right, we have a result here. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to load up an HTML viewer online. Let's paste it in and we get something like this. So very simple. I like that it has a running ticker. That's pretty cool. But this looks like one of those websites where you meant to go to one URL, but it sends you to another, almost like an ad pop up. When we look at his results, this to me looks like a legit landing page. I'm assuming this is counting up as well. But in my opinion, this could be launched like today. Obviously, it needs some fixing like the images down here. But this is a great one shot if the GPT-5 model is legit. Another confirmed tester in the thread, Near Future Marketing wrote, confirmed it has a much better sense of humor. I've been building an app around the APIs. And a common preset question I ask is, tell me a joke that's actually funny. This user thinks that's the first time since GPT 3.5 Turbo, it's starting to see new jokes and not the usual scarecrow best in his field, scientists don't atoms, or why did the bicycle fall over? And that's actually a good point. When you ask ChatGPT or the API models this question, they always default to an unoriginal joke. Almost like it's training data has it saying that. This time it gave me, I told my suitcase we're not going on vacation this year. Now I'm dealing with emotional baggage, which is unique to me. I haven't heard that before. And then I told my Roomba to clean the living room. It spun in a circle, sighed, and updated its LinkedIn to open to opportunities. Another unique joke to me. 
He also prompted it, what should I eat today? And it said option one, fast and healthy, Greek yogurt, berries, honey, granola sprinkle, for lunch, chicken shawarma bowl, for dinner, salmon, roasted broccoli, sweet potato wedges, as a snack, apple and peanut butter. Again, this is something I could see from the old models. This doesn't appear new to me, but it's another data point for us. The last confirmed tester in this thread, this user asked it what its model name was, and it said GPT-4 Omni Mini Based Assistant, which we know from past tests, models aren't accurate with actually naming what their own model name is. Like if I go to ChatGPT, load up model 4.1, and ask it what is your back end model name, it says GPT-4 architecture typically refers to us as GPT-4 Turbo. I'm actually going to test this with GPT-4.5. And again, that answer is GPT-4 Turbo Preview. It had to search the web for this. It doesn't really have self-awareness in that regard. I do think O3 can tell though. Let me paste that in for O3. And yeah, that's good enough to tell. If this post is true and it actually was a leak, it's a pretty cool snippet into what this model could be capable of. I know I personally cannot wait until August to test this model out. What are you guys most excited about with this GPT-5 model? How do you plan to use it? Write me a little comment below to join the conversation. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, check out the web app I'm building live on this channel called YourAIAgent.com. We have everything from AI video editing, auto blogging, Tumblr bots, Pinterest bots, Blue Sky chat bots, cold email outreach agents, endless affiliate marketing, Instagram posting, inbound sales call agents, LinkedIn posting, Reddit bots, social listening tools. We have everything you need and more. Come check us out. I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.